Good job, Russ. And so I'm, I'm kind of curious, you've been in a few of these races now, whether you win or don't win them, has your kind of just feeling toward the race and this just being a part of it changed at all? Have you come to sort of accept that this is just part of it more, or do you feel more opposed to it maybe than the first time you were involved in an end? I mean, race? I cannot control it. I mean, I can control it, but uh, I cannot control it. So if they're going to put me in that conversation, I, and uh, it's been three, uh, four years now, so I'm, I think I'm kind of used to it, so I don't even pay attention anymore. So probably a good problem to have. Nicole, I, I know you said you're not used to it, but this has become the norm. How, I guess, beyond the realm of possibility was even winning the first, let alone the idea of winning three in four years when you're a kid just playing basketball or making your way through before you even, and then maybe just getting to the NBA that you'd be the best player in the league three of the last four years? Mm, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. I, I, to be honest, I liked the, the last year when I didn't get it, and then we won a championship much better. <laughs> Uh, but uh, you know, it's a—I don't know what to, what to say. It's a you know, it's a journey. It's a process. It's a mm, trusting in your team, uh, teammates, teammates tr trusting in you. It's just a whole collective effort mm, uh, that put me in front of the like the bright spotlight, and I'm kind of the guy. But there is a lot of a lot of people, uh, players, coaches, uh, strength coaches, development coaches. Uh, medical staff behind me, family, of course, and that you guys don't see it, and I'm just one of them. You mentioned your family. How how important, how much more does it mean having them in the room with you when it gets announced and having their reactions, too? I mean, I didn't, I didn't invite them. They just show up, so... <laughs> Uh, I'm like, who who wants to drive like 45 minutes here to to get it? Uh, but uh, it's nice, you know. It's a special it's a special moment. Um, probably I'm I'm gonna remember. Um, What's the name? Uh, the whole life. So it's uh, I like to say the legacy for after career. Nicola, what is it about? Sorry, here we go. What is it about winning and competing? And, and playing in the NBA, you do love the most. What What is it? I mean, I think you said it, like competing in a high level, competing against the best in the league, competing against the best coaches, uh, competing in a tough environment, uh, you know, just uh, lose games, win games, you know, uh, experience, um, you know, just being... Uh, just being there in the, in the big moments, in the big games. Nicola... You know, I know you don't like trying to think about this, but you're now one of nine guys that, that have won three MVPs. And, you know, those are, you're in really good company. You know, is there ever going to be a point where you stop and think, like, oh, my goodness, I'm one of nine guys in NBA history to, to, do, to I do this? I just said it. I mean, when I won the first thing, the first time I was like, okay, this is cool, this is nice. When I won a second the time, the list was way shorter. And now the list is kind of short, short. Uh, so I'm just ha I'm just happy to to be part of, of those guys, uh, those group of guys, which is not not bad group of guys, right? So, um, like I said, I think it's a legacy for the after the career, and um, you know, I think I'm gonna be more maybe proud of myself after career than I'm, I'm right now. Nicola, I know you just said you save legacy stuff for after your career, but. Does being a, has being a father changed how you view legacy at all? Yes, in a good way. Basketball doesn't mean that much, and you know, probably probably that helps me too. You know, it's a it's a job. It's a, a thing that I I like, of course. I like to do it to play the game. Everything else, mm. uh, <laughs> but yes, being father and uh, being father that means that you. Uh, don't play just for yourself or just the teammates. You have a like background behind you. That's uh, maybe when you're older, you don't want them to look at the, your videos or whatever and say that you're bad. Or so, hopefully, I can talk a lot of trash there when uh, my kid or uh, my nephews grow up. So I'm gonna be a cool grandpa. <laughs> uh, Nicole, right here. Uh, 
Decky once told me that he cared more about who you became as a person than a player. You know, obviously for who you became more than what you did on the court. W what did he mean to you? I mean, it's uh, you know, I always say to the to the people are uh, not media people. Let's say like that. I mean, he meant to me more. Uh, now when when he was not coach to me anymore you know he was uh, he was my friend he was uh, our family friend he was always in my house when uh, when uh, uh, when he was here and we were we were always going to his house when uh, i was in uh, i was in golden state mm, so it was uh, just like really really uh, quality friendship with a lot of truth between uh, telling truth between uh, each other and being honest. Um, you know, I think it's a decky was a guy who you always want to have as a friend, someone who's going to tell you how it is, you know, not with no lying and no trying to hide anything. Nicola, um, you know, people, I think, now debate, like, who's the greatest Denver athlete ever, you know, John Elway with the Broncos or Joe Sackick with the Abs, like, oh, just for you. start with this now? No, 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 no. <laughs> but, like, just, just when... For you to even be in the discussion now with this and the championship, like, is that a little cool for you? I don't know, even know if you know a ton about those guys, but uh, I heard about them, and uh, it's. Uh, I don't want to start this conversation. <laughs> uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, being a living in Denver or whatever, being a part of Denver, I think it's cool to have, uh, even in hockey right now. Uh, we, I think it's just just enjoying the moment because uh, um, I was here when uh, we were not that good and uh, everybody was like talking bad to us, talking and like thinking bad to us. So just enjoy the moment, enjoy the process, enjoy the 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 because uh, it's gonna pass probably. You know, everything's passed, so this is gonna pass too. So I think enjoy the moment and uh, be happy. To uh, Nicole. To piggyback off Mike's question about Decky a little bit, um, you're paying tribute to him with that shirt. I guess is today a day to kind of just reflect on all the people who, <laughs> you know, that helped you along the way, and then who has helped you, and how much did he help you? I mean, yes. I mean, uh, and to be honest, I'm wearing this kind of sh this shirt pretty much every day. You know, on, on especially when I'm uh, when I'm in a training facility. Uh, um, you know, Decky was the guy who was uh, gave me the freedom. You know, he. He showed me the uh, the way how you're supposed to do uh, things, act, uh, train, work out, uh, uh, having positive energy, having positive uh, attitude. Uh, it's um, you know he's the guy who's. I mean, you can just see how many how many players and people he affected. Uh, and it's uh, you know he 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 has a positive effect on me. Like I said, maybe probably more now as a friend than uh, than when he was a, as a, my coach. Um, but yes, basketball wise, he gave me the freedom and uh, to do whatever I want to do, and uh, he trusted me. And I I can just say, say thank you. Nicola, why why have you embraced the sponsorships, the commercials, the shoes like more so than you ever have before? You used to say, "If they paid me, I'll do it." So is it, is it just that, or are you actually enjoying it? Uh, I mean, I didn't. I, I, I took. I had two commercials, right? And I I just changed the the brand. I just uh, you know, it was a. Uh, I mean, three six one show up with a. Uh, uh, it uh, great respect to me, and I uh, just said these guys wants to do and uh, wants to basically help me, use me, whatever you want to, however you want to say. Uh, and um, then I, when I read about them, they're actually really, really popular, and they're really up uh, scaling brand, let's say like that. And uh, you know, maybe I can help them too in in some way. So it's um but the most the most thing about the, the shoes is like the quality of shoes that i really like and uh, they made sure that uh, the comfort is there and uh, you know they did a really good job nicola kind of similar to what jacob was asking but understanding how much teams mean to fans and players so john elway that's why you still see people wearing seven jerseys and 19 jerseys do you at least understand what you mean to nuggets fans and folks in this town and what you saw with the parade and even long after you're retired you think about what you'll mean to everyone that's gotten to watch you and see your career grow and see all these accolades. Do you understand that part? Yes, of I mean, of course, this is going to be my second home, and hopefully I'm going to uh, come one time here 
after mm. I finished career and uh, still have friends here, you know, I, 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 I feel the respect that they show me, you know, I'm hanging in the Washington Park and everybody's treating me like they, they're, uh, they're really respectful and I really appreciate it. Nobody's really, I'm going to say, aggressively bugging me. Does that make any sense? Because I'm with a kid and like they really respect me and I really, uh, I really, really appreciate that. And um, they are, they are really good fan, fan base. Um, and I'm really happy that they are on our side every time when uh, we are down or, or up. They are our sixth player, uh, and people in Denver, I think they are really, really, really chill and they are really, like I said, I think if I'm if I'm born here or whatever I live here, I will just enjoy the moment right now. Nicola, there's a really good chance Nathan McKinnon could win the MVP. I'm just curious, your relationship, maybe you can speak on that, and, and, um, and what do you think about that, about that happening here in this building, possibly this year? I mean, uh, I actually, I, I watched the game, uh, I watched the game when I was like, when, um, in February, back in February, right? They lost last night, right? They won? Yeah, I, I didn't watch it, uh, because I have other things to do. Uh, but I, I love the sport, first of all, and I love uh, even being a fan. Like when I'm going to the games, I'm a fan of the of, of the Avalanche, and I think it's really cool to be to be part of something that it's. Uh, I think the building the same way as the Nuggets in some way, um, and they're trusting their players and they're trusting Nathan, and uh, he's playing good and he's really fast on those guys. It's really really fast, right? And uh, I'm really. Uh, because I, I don't know how to skate and, uh, and how they how physical how how much energy is in in the when they play it's uh, really it's much better in live than when you watch it on TV. Nicola, will anything be better than when you got it in Serbia when Coach came over and you guys all had like a party? And does that does this moment right now make you want to be home like doing that all over again? Uh, I mean, doesn't mean that we're not gonna do it. Uh, so, I mean, maybe just not right away, but maybe when everything finish, why not? Uh, but no, I mean, uh, my first one, I get it here, right? In Phoenix, yeah. Nick has a great story about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, I don't have a feeling to go home and like, it doesn't have a, I mean, I would like it because it was a really special moment. Uh, all my friends, all my family were there, and of course, I came with a horse, which is a big, a big, uh, big uh, part of my life. But you know, that's probably unique once in a lifetime. Nicola, other than than this, what does this kind of week and this stretch of off days look like for you, just in terms of trying to mentally and physically reset and prepare? Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, we had we had yesterday day off. Today we came here, uh, work out a little bit, you know. Mm, just mentally, yesterday was mentally off. Today is mentally on. You know, just to be, just to be ready for tomorrow, to Friday. Hey, uh, Nicola, if you think back to December fifteenth, twenty sixteen, when you became the starting center and Mike Malone put you in the starting lineup, and everything kind of changed since then. What do you remember about that date or game when you just think back to it? Uh, <laughs> Don't mess it up. I remember, <laughs> you know, when I when I so everybody was telling me like, okay, you're gonna start. I said, don't mess it up. Just play the same way. I mean, and I think I did. You know, mm, I think even when you get opportunity like that, you don't you don't really think about it. And uh, I think you can think about it if you start thinking about who you're playing or it's a big moment. Uh, you're just gonna put a lot of pressure on yourself. Just go, uh, just go and do the thing. What brought you there? I think that's. Uh, Advice for young people. Yeah, uh, Nicole, you, you've talked before about your kind of admiration for a lot of different guys that came before you, but one of those was Tim Ten Duncan, you know, playing with one franchise for for 19 years. Um, do you ever, as much as you have accomplished, you know, before the age of 30, do you ever think about how long you want to play, or you know, what would determine you know how long you want to play basketball? I mean, hopefully, I'm going to be ready. I mean. Um, I think that the determination is going to be if I can perform on the high level or not. You know, I think I'm not going to take a spot from some young guys or take uh, 
put the franchise down like mm-hmm. uh, as long as I can play the high level on the highest level uh, and help the team win I think that's gonna be my uh, I'm gonna play until then right, thank you, guys pleasure like always.